Hello and welcome to Starship Evo. A few people have asked me to take a look at this game so far and uh, I picked it up and I've been having a little mess around with it and it's another sandbox ability game very similar to sort of Imperion styley kind of space engineer styley type games um, but here we go this is uh, this is I've just started a brand new game so this is going to take us through all the tutorial stuff which I, I've actually already done uh, in order to try and get a handle on the game, but uh, generally speaking, this is what the sort of thing it looks like. So yeah, everything's a bit kind of, you know, I'd describe it as cartoony, uh, a bit basic, um, but you know, uh, graphics aren't exactly what we're all here for. Sometimes it's just the actual gameplay. Um, but yeah, this is uh, where we sort of start getting talked about and you hit tab and you get this codex thing and then you can jetpack about and it's all of the sort of trolls can be a little bit clumsy at the moment I think uh, this is equivalent of zero G that's walking that's jump and fall and that is just full six degree craziness going on there and then uh, we've got all our blocks and paint all down here so everything you kind of need is all in this uh, sort of area you can drag things onto toolbars I don't even know what that is. That's a symmetry tool. There we go. <laughs> Anti grav tool, uh, which is quite useful. And the connection station tool. I've not even used that one either. So there's a lot more to this game than, than I've even uh, figured out yet. So um, yeah, let's just crack through this little tutorial system here. Oh, I think we've got to hit that button uh, with our jetpack. And then oh, we've got to go up. Here we go. And now we need this. Uh, so this is all just about getting you used to the kind of flight mechanics, I suppose. And it's sort of W, A, S, and D, Q, and E to sort of rotate, control to crouch, and obviously you can rebind all of this if you want to. Anyway, this is just basic movement controls. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit to some actual building. Yeah, we've got a little gravity tool there. That's nice, isn't it? So once you've sort of made it through uh, all the sort of movement tasks and stuff, it gives you these little hover vessels. Uh, hovercraft is equipped with a landing gear. Press G to retract it while flying. So you do have little landing gears that do retract. I'm actually going to jump into... No, let's jump, let's jump into this one. Uh, so everything's kind of like press and hold in this game, which is uh, uh, whatever. Everybody's got an opinion about that. It's loud, that's for sure. Oh, and you can crash things. Um, F4 is like external view, and then I think, but you just bend. Basically, you just sit there. Well, <laughs> it looks like the the hovercraft takes you for a little trip around. Uh, this is basically just a little creative session to get you kind of hang in a game. I think there are some multiplayer servers out there that that are maybe a little bit more involved, um, have some more stuff to do. I don't. I don't know if I'm honest. <laughs> I've only messed around with it for um, a couple of hours so far and I, I don't really fully understand everything about this game so far. So you hold F to turn it off and then you got to hold F again to get out and then you just sort of start flying around like a weird god. Uh, but hit F4 again and you're back into first person and, and you can calm down. So this is the sort of thing that you can build in this game. This is uh, the sort of level of detail. So you can see the sort of angles and stuff that we're working with are quite nice. Um, they're quite shallow, so you can make some really cool shapes with this, and they've got a lot of deco options as well. Texture-wise, very limited and basic, uh, but you can actually put some symbols and, and things like that on there. Uh, so this is a very nice looking ship, isn't it? This is obviously something that the developers have built, I think. Uh, what's nice about this game is that everything you see that moves here is stuff that you... This isn't just like one asset. Uh, this is all like hinges and pistons and stuff like that that have been created individually to create this kind of door. Um, let's come out of jetpack mode. So I, I believe that ramp there is is made up of parts. Of course, we can have a look because all the little blocks here are in here. This is like just creative mode. So there's no sort of survival mechanics going out mining or anything like that. Um, you, you just, everything's here. So you've got windows and canopies, pipes, pipes. <laughs> There's a lot of options around pipes. I like that flora as well. Um, there is, I've possibly missed it. Here we go. So there's these rotors, pistons, hinges, sliding rails, so on and so forth. So I suspect that we, what we've got in this door here is a hinge 
and some sliding rails. Um, somehow, I think this is probably made up of many, many parts. But yeah, this is the sort of thing that you can, apparently that you can create in this game. I'm not sure how at this point, only, only a few hours in, how they managed to do this. Just, it must have taken a very, very long time, I think. Um, very much a labor of love. Uh, we can see all the ship's information if we click on that. There's all the sort of stats and so on and so forth. You can see at the moment that I'm kind of just sort of sliding around. Even though the ship's not moving, I think it's on a slight tilt. It's not level, and so <laughs> I'm just sort of slowly falling. The game thinks I'm, I'm stuck. Anyway, we can get into the seat here as well, and we can um, turn this ship on. Uh, or we can just get out, pop ourselves. What I quite like about this boat is that all the sort of computers and stuff are locked behind these little panels and stuff. Now, if we get our link tool out and uh, click on one of these, you can see the sort of links that it's got just by sort of following the things. Now, if we hit F5, which is kind of like clip mode, we can uh, we can go through things. So we can see all the links of that little panel there connecting to these weapon systems in fact this isn't just uh just a, a sort of ready-made weapon system this is all made again from parts so you've got some rotors here and then you've actually got the laser cannons themselves and that all goes back to this uh control turret uh control panel here and if we click on the old cockpit here we can see all the connections of the cockpit thusly go into this control panel as well there you go, there's another panel full of stuff. That one's empty. <laughs> so you can add even more stuff if you want to, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the kind of signal logic stuff, I suppose, is, is all done by linking. So if you want the cockpit to actually work, you've got to actually link the cockpit to a control system that then talks to the engines and things like that. So it's all a bit, uh, it's all a bit complicated. So but you know completely customizable and in the end uh after you've labored long and hard into the night i think you come up with something like this which looks very cool so uh let's give it a little fly and then i'll show you actually what the building is like well what the building is like for someone who's played the game for maybe two hours so far we head into the seat here and then we activate the spaceship then we could hit F4 to go external. I've left the door open, so this is going to be a bit funky. But yeah, and um, zoom in. I'm not sure if you can raise or lower the camera or not, but uh, it's kind of like, uh, I can't remember what the name of it is, but you, you move the mouse and you get this kind of semi cursor and then the ship follows that in that direction. So it's not directly bound to your mouse at all. Um, this particular ship has got some weapons so you can uh, fly us, fire some lasers and things like that. The lasers will follow the the secondary mouse, the, the, the primary mouse cursor I should say. So you can properly chop some stuff up so we uh, select our little hover vessel here. Now if we point the ship in the rough direction of that thing there you go <laughs> so that there's kind of like how you shoot but I mean there's some of the things like the fixed the fixed cannons they don't follow the mouse they just follow the main and they just seem to hit somewhere over there I don't know <laughs> I don't even know where they hit but yeah Power off, uh, uh, hold F, and get out of the seat, hold F again, and then there we go. That's that's kind of like, um, uh, like that. that's that's a ready-made ship that you can bring in. Um, now, if we open up tab, we can see that we've got multiple toolbars here. We've got three toolbars. So uh, what we're going to need is a starter kit. So we're going to pop that down there, and I'm going to pop in, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of blocks here. Because uh, what we can do uh, is shift and then mouse wheel down, select a new toolbar, and then you just place a block. That's the starter block, and then you can build anything from that. Now, if I access this starter block, we can pull in um, some blueprints. So 
Here we go. So, <laughs> maybe I should have done that in space. The Lambda class shuttle from from Star Wars. Uh, you know, we're all very familiar with this one. But uh, there we go. This is this is the kind of thing that you can build in here. This is pretty cool, and I don't know actually. I've never brought this one in yet, so uh, it might be possible to do the whole foldy wingy thing. In fact, it certainly should be possible to do the whole foldy wingy thing. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, crikey. This looks complicated. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck with that one. Okay, so let's let's jump into a cockpit maybe and fly this around. Uh, let's have that seat there. Activate. Activate. Okay, there we go. We've got, uh, we've got our, our Lambda class shuttle. And if we press G... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> And the landing gears come down. That's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, somebody built this. Fair play. There's a cannon. There's a turret at the back there. I'm not sure if that's operable, but that would be really cool if it is. And it's got some guns. That's fantastic. Let's land this thing. So there you go. That is. Is that gonna land or is that just that's just constantly flying now? There we go. I think I think we're down. So hold F. Deactivate, hold up again, get out. Very nice. Uh, and this sort of raises... It's a shame we can't have the, the steam effect, you know. <laughs> oh, Darth Vader strolls down the ramp. Yes. The Emperor is not so forgiving as I am. But there we go. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Kudos to the builder, because that is pretty much spot on recreation of the lambda 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 uh so we can yeah we can do this with sort of all sorts of things we can go over here um and there's a few other things that i sort of subscribe to on the workshop y wing obviously uh <laughs> uh the phantom ss which seemed to be quite popular at the time let's let's see if the talos will come in um oh yeah here we go there's a this is a nice looking boat. <laughs> so this looks a little bit like the ones that the developers left here for us to play with. It's it's very nice. It's very nice looking. And uh, hit that switch. Does the ramp come down or something? Anything? Let me in. No. Okay, we'll just we'll glitch through the hole in that case. Oh, there we go. Oh, yep. So turret control systems, nice little kitchen area, I guess. Very nice. I have no idea. <laughs> There's a uh, oh some stairs up here look okay here we go uh, some more stairs up here right uh this is this is nice bit of decoration going on all very good something like little cool quarters and stuff people have gone to a nice degree of detail here haven't they very good okay. Oh, little, little operations bridge and everything. And uh, this one, some kind of weird armoured cockpit thing going on here. All right, left the back door open again. This one doesn't seem to have any guns. Or if it, it's, it might have turrets that are controlled by the seats. So it might be like a multi... Uh, player vessel to control because the pilot doesn't seem to have anything to shoot. Um, but yeah, uh, you you got uh, left shift sort of like a little boosty thing, and I think you can go uh, sort of interstellar as it were with L. I think if I head up into space, there we go. We're sort of traveling a bit fasty, and then we can hit L, and it causes charges our light crews. And then that goes off on one. <laughs> I'm going quite quickly towards the uh, the ring of this planet, which I believe 
I'm going to have to slow down now, is actually actual asteroids. So you have to be very careful because <laughs> you could very easily just crash into those asteroids there. But yeah, this the scale of this game is quite impressive so far. Uh, I'm not really sure if there's much in the way of other planets you can visit. I assume there is. Um, I'm seeing a couple of squares, another square up there that we can, might be able to go and have a look at. But yeah, I just want to have a quick check of this thing. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. There we go. <laughs> Short, quick jump. Try not to crash into the asteroid. But yeah. The, the, the ring around the planet, crazily, is actual asteroids. So that, that's quite a cool little detail. That's quite a, So building aside, um, what you can do is still have a little jolly little jaunt around some asteroid fields, which is nice. Uh, I don't think there's any collision damage at the moment. No, you just sort of bounce off of stuff. Which, you know, I actually quite like because I'm a terrible pilot. <laughs> and I'm always crashing into stuff. So there we go. So yeah, shift gives you a little bit of a boost, but L gives you sort of a super warpy style boosty type thing, uh, which is good. And that's heading towards the sun now, aren't we? We need to get out of this asteroid field. Can we head back to our little ring of doom? I think we can. So, how does the building work then? I'm going to give that a go, shall we? repair that hover vessel quickly right so we do a little shift down again and uh very simply like i said if you place the core well i didn't say this before but if you place the core on the ground it'll become a sort of hover vessel type thing uh but if you place it hovering in midair then it can become anything else space spaceships uh base or anything like that i oh, know i think i got that wrong if you place it on the ground it's a base if you place it in the air it, it's anything else so uh, very simply, it sort of blocks like that, but instead of sort of right-clicking or tabbing and getting a different block in your hand, you've got to sort of drag each shape of block uh, onto the sort of toolbar that you want to use. And there are two sizes. You've got the sort of larger side for sort of capital scale uh, ships, I suppose, and small for everything else. The two can intermingle, so you can actually put a small rotor on a larger block uh, and such as well. So... Let's see if we can figure out just quickly um, some, I just want to show you the sort of little connecting thing. So let me get some small blocks, small rotors, turret control. So I've got a few pieces here, uh, some blocks, we've got some rotors here and some control things. We need a turret control, uh, a yoke and uh, a button thing. And uh, I think I need a cockpit as well or, or some sort of seating in order to take control of this thing. I'm gonna just basically build a small um, little gun platform here. Uh, so let's let's pop a block on there. Let's pop a couple on there actually. And uh, our little seat here is gonna face that way. And we're gonna have some small block um, here. And now with the blocks, you can just drag them out. And uh, if you look closely, there's a tiny little um, kind of uh, arrow inside so you can press R and it changes the sort of axis in which is being influenced by your mouse at the time so um, I just want like a little block like that right click to get rid of it but there we go very easy to place um, and then remove if you need to so they're very easy to accidentally remove uh, which I've found several times now slightly irritating but uh, shift scroll wheel to bring up other such items. So I'm going to create a little uh, control station here. We want our little R to rotate and we want our little control systems here and our turret control system goes sort of behind that there. Okay, so this is going to be useful for when we link later, but basically we have the turret control system, which is like the computer the player controls and then everything kind of links to the computer and then this sort of on off turns it all on or subsequently off uh who would have thought right so now we want uh to actually build the little turret system so uh let me just sort of build out a little bit of it's not gonna be very big so we want a rotor uh, and i think the rotor with the arrows need to be pointing in the direction you want the turret to be default to uh, so and then 
block there, and a second rotor. And then that's obviously going to be... Uh, oh, uh, there you go. That was a case of accidentally deleting. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to accident. I didn't mean to delete that. Now, I found that in some cases, last time I played this, that these rotors were getting very confused and pointing in the wrong direction. So um, just bear that in mind. It, it, it restart the game and it should be fine. But if we try and place our little gun here now, you can see that it won't rotate. I want it to go in that direction. Uh, so I'm gonna have to put another block on the end of that rotator there. And subsequently this one, we'll see if we can get a double barrel turret here, basically. Um, cool. Keep missing the thing, right? And now we can put them in the right direction. So, uh, and the, these can be um, stretched out as well. And, and generally, the bigger the gun, um, the more power mods you can add to it. So basically, you design your own weapon. That's like the weapon's power core I've built there. And then the barrel. Can I add a barrel onto that? I don't think I can actually. Oh, how interesting! Can't add a barrel on that. Never mind. Okay, so you get these little mods that you can add to the lasers as well. So these are like little charges and then you get cooling and then damage modifiers as well. So we've got quite a little powerful weapon there. Very good. Uh, and the last thing you need or is sort of, cause it's a turret system, it's good to have a little camera on there and that will come in handy as well. Cause we'll need to link that. Now we go to our link tool that we managed to get earlier if you remember that's from the tools section the linky one is uh this one right here uh, and so now we need to start linking everything together so you want the control system so you just click hold and drag and then select that so on the right hand side turret computer you can see the requirements there so it's primary axis and then you need a secondary axis which i got two of Okay, and then link it to a camera. And it's not liking my secondary axis, possibly because I haven't configured it for vertical. So if you press F on each of these rotors, you can then configure. So we want that vertical motion. Yeah. Vertical motion. Perhaps that's still not liking it very much. Oh, there we go. It's finally figured out the primary and secondary. So we got all the ticks, the ticks now. So it's happy, I think. <laughs> okay, I've I've finally figured it out. Yeah, <laughs> and it works. And it works. I think it only fires like maybe once an hour because uh, <laughs> I've only uh, a little bit of a. A little bit of a generator on there. So, but it, it, uh, it does work now. Uh, what I had to do, sorry about that. I, uh, I'm i still trying to figure this out. It, I had to add a, a reactor and a capacitor. Kind of obvious, really, I suppose, uh, that you would need a power source in order for this uh, energy weapon to work. <laughs> it didn't recur to me, first of all. And then, of course, my linking was all kind of uh, incorrect as well. So I uh, figured that out now. I did link everything correctly to that, but I also needed to link it to uh, this kind of, uh, what is a hotkey gate here, the yoke, so that uh, if I'm pressing a hotkey, this then activates the guns themselves. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's three parts in order to make a little turret work, but that little turret does actually work now. Uh, also, quite confusingly, and I really don't understand this, but there might be some logic here. This turret access on this rotor which rotates horizontally is set to vertical uh, and this is set to horizontal inverse and that is set to horizontal and as by having those set like that I now have a turret that actually turns and rotates and elevates in the correct direction um, but only fires every hour or so <laughs> yeah so We'd need a much larger reactor and capacitor in order to make that fire more uh, frequently. But that is basically how the blocks and kind of rotors and linking and everything kind of works together. Uh, now your job is to get that all to work together in a nice looking ship, like one of these things that have uh, either been placed here for us or that we've spawned in today.
Uh, and so that is the ultimate challenge. And that seems to be most of what this game is at the moment is literally just sandbox building. Certainly single player, which is the only thing I have checked out. Do let me know down in the comments if you have checked out multiplayer, whether that's any different. Um, but I believe it's all just about the build for now. So there's not much else to the game. No survival mechanics, not really any enemies to fight. Um, this is very cool though. And there's sort of... The graphics in space and things like that look great. Space looks amazing. Um, the asteroids lack any kind of texture or anything, but, you know, this is very early alpha, very early access. And so, you know, we can kind of let them off on that. But uh, I think the level of detail that you can go to and the fact that you can drag blocks and don't forget, you can drag this sort of angled one. So if you ever wondered in sort of games like Pyrion or Space Engineers, if you'd like to have a nice long triangle kind of piece like that, that, that you can now. Well, you can in uh, Starship Evo anyway. <laughs> so there you go. Our little gun turret's coming along nicely, isn't it? <laughs> a few more thousand hours and we might have that actually looking like a little mini Death Star with a turret. But yeah, a little basic kind of intro in the building and stuff obviously if we wanted to make this fly we need to add some thrusters on it and then configure those as well and then obviously eventually we'll end up something a little bit like that thing there or whatever i i must say this lambda class shuttle looks awesome very very kudos, kudos to the creator on that one looks looks amazing <laughs> really really cool and you know this the uh talos here as well very very cool looking boat uh, i love the asymmetry interior is a bit finicky to get into but look at the piping ladies and gentlemen can you be mad when you see piping like that that is some quality piping so <laughs> you can you can definitely go to town uh in this game i'm uh, not sure what the biggest sort of ship that you can build is but i'm not sure if there's any limit to it or or what but uh you can go reasonable reasonably big i think these are all considered sort of smallish ships anyway Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is Starship Evo in a nutshell. If you do pick it up, I do highly recommend going through the tutorial about three or four times. Uh, <laughs> it's just once you're just kind of left going, eh, what? Uh, I would also highly recommend getting a few builds off the workshop, bringing them in and just seeing how they work and trying to sort of reverse engineer them to some degree. Because uh, even though I've done that uh, a couple of times, a few more builds, uh, I still don't really understand <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm only a few hours in and hopefully I've given you a little taste of what Starship Evo is about and its potential, its possible potential. So if you are looking for another sort of sandbox building game with some pretty cool logic systems as well as rotors, pistons and all those little things, draggy outy boxes, blocks and stuff that you can make some very cool shapes with, then have a look at Starship Evo. You might just like it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.